39 with coupon. Celebrate St. Patrick's Day in style with these holiday specials from Price Chopper. TV 10 is right at home for you. Let me tell you who's here. On uh, the satellite from uh, Los Angeles are Michael Wayne, who happens to be the son of John Wayne and president of Wayne Enterprises. He is in the company of John Clark Gable, and yes, he is the son of Clark Gable. Here in our studio are, from left to right, Everett Fields, the grandson of W.C. Fields. Also here is Bill Marks, son of Harpo Marks. You will also meet on this program Senator Emanuel R. Gold, who's Deputy Minority Leader of the United States of New York State Senate, and Jerome Wilson, who's an attorney representing Time, Inc., the magazine people. What are these people doing here? Let me try and make some sense here at the top as briefly as I can. These, uh, the offspring of these famous uh, celebrities who have since passed share an outrage at what they perceive to be the exploitation of the persona, the fame, and the memory of their loved deceased celebrities. Can you, for example, market a picture of John Wayne that has him nude, for example? Is, does, does the First Amendment entitle a person to that? Can I make a, um, a coffee cup that's got a funny, perhaps degrading picture of Harpo Marx on it? Let me give you some uh, example of uh, what we're talking about here. Let me just show you. Uh, you uh, the, uh, now, here's the point. If you laugh at this, you're making the point of the marketer. If you think this is funny, talk to uh, W.C. Fields' grandson. And if this is allowed, what's next? Now, we're almost finished. If you want to pass a law prohibiting this, where does it stop? For example, what if, uh, what if a person is alive? Have you got that insert? You got the, the taped? The little, the little thing I want to put on here. Oh, yeah. Let me, sh me show them that. If, if, should we make this illegal? That's the question. Excuse me, I got some pots and pans I want to show you here. <laughs> <laughs> if this is illegal, what about this? <laughs> is that illegal? Uh, let me, uh, I should explain to uh, Michael Wayne and John Clark Gable. I've superimposed my picture over W.C. Fields' picture. Does it matter if the person is alive? Why don't you make uh, the point, uh, Michael, you've been at this now a long time. You've had some successes in court, and you've also had some defeats. We should remind our audience that your father died of cancer in 1979, and you've been fighting uh, for the right uh, to ensure that your father's memory is not exploited or in any way demeaned. Make your case. Well, um, we feel that it's a property right. We feel that his name and likeness has a, a great value. He felt it when he was alive. And uh, like any other piece of property, um, he should be able to transfer it, uh, assign it, will it, whatever in our case uh the wayne family's case we actually purchased the the rights to my father's image and likeness while he was still alive paid him a lot of money what's wrong with that jerome wilson attorney at law representing time incorporated uh we should say that senator gold has of new york state is already uh is is in the process of uh, drafting legislation which would prohibit the uh destruction of the image of uh deceased celebrities what worries time inc well, let me briefly say that I'm with Rogers and Wells, an attorney with Rogers and Wells, which represents time opposing Senator Gold's bill. Right. What's wrong with it? It sounds good at first blush, and one feels a certain amount of sympathy. The problem is that it impinges on free expression in the United States. Free expression in, in our country is a raw, robust process. People get abused. We just had a Supreme Court case uh, on February 24th where Hustler Magazine did an absolutely outrageous portrayal of Mr. Falwell. I mean, you, you would find it disgusting. But the Supreme Court said, no, the First Amendment protects parody. Right. Uh, you held up a picture with your face on it. Right. The Supreme Court was said, that's okay. The bill that Senator Gold wants to put in would make it against the law in New York State. So ultimately, his law would, if it was passed in the law, his proposal, rather, would what? probably be overturned. Uh, John Clark Gable, get in here. Well, uh, you heard that, did you? Yes, sir. How would you respond? 
Well, I think um, that the law should definitely be passed to protect the rights of the heirs, because I believe that the heirs have the right to uh, say whether or not their family should be, you know, on... Um, well, never mind. You know, well, uh, uh, he, his, ear, his ear plug fell out there. This is Michael Wayne, and I... Can we and I, do something about this problem? I, I really feel that uh, uh, one is free speech and one is commercial speech. Our law, or Senator Gold's law, is really tailored to uh, around the First Amendment. We Ab in no way wish wrong. to impede absolutely anything wrong. that happens. Uh, absolutely tell wrong. us why uh, he's absolutely wrong. Uh, uh, Mr. Bill, Wilson commenting. Yeah, this bill says that, for example, for CBS or NBC to put on a docudrama, which is obviously part fiction, that is not an accurate biographical portrayal of the figures that they, they put in the docudrama, say, of Lee Harvey Oswald and so forth. Uh, you're striking a straw man. Well, but that, sorry, that's the language in the law. That's not, that's not, we had a hearing on this, and the hearing made it perfectly clear that the bill we put in was for comment, for talk. We're dealing with an issue, and the issue here is commerce. And I don't think there's anybody who watches this show who doesn't have Aunt Sadie's ring or the family silver or the family business wasn't transferred to them if it was a candy store or a lumber yard or whatever. And all we're talking about here is a property right. These people have worked very hard. John Wayne, for example, his whole life to develop what was John Wayne. And for Michael Wayne and his family to be humiliated to see a poster advertising cigarettes with John Wayne's face on it. Now, the face of John Wayne was on that sign to sell cigarettes. Not for freedom of speech, not to make any uh, First Amendment expression. It uh, was there to make money. Sh show them on the, well, if we can, on the monitors, yeah, the audience. That, that's not free speech. Well, well, that's commerce. The, the, Somebody yeah, put like that on a sign to, to make money. And if well, well, in that's fact, what the heirs want to do is to make money. They and there's nothing, make, nothing wrong they, with that. They want to make money well, off their relatives. Well, yeah. Number I, one I is nothing. Go ahead, the Mr. Ad. Wayne, sir. Yes. Go Number ahead. one, the picture was my father, so I'd like to kind of comment on it. First, it was more than embarrassing. It hurt us because, as a lot of people know, my dad died of cancer, and we feel it might have been the five packs of uh, cigarettes that he smoked every day that contributed to it. And to see something like that up on a signboard is bigger than life. Um, it, it hurt us, quite frankly. Uh, excuse me, uh, but uh, let me understand this. Can I see that again? Uh, is this this is not a gag? This is uh, how did who makes Winston? Lorillard? I get them mixed up. Brown and Williamson? I don't know who. I get I the, get mixed up too, it, sir. Uh, Reynolds, R.J. Reynolds. Let me ask you this: Did are you saying that uh, that this company used your father's likeness without the estate's permission? Absolutely. So that Absolutely. Uh, so that someone could uh, put any picture of a deceased president, for example, in a in a cigarette ad under these circumstances. Exactly. Well, true. that's that's what they feel. And that's what we actually want to stop. Yeah, I Incidentally, you know, the, the, the eminent lawyer there mentioned that all these uh, kids just want to make money off their father's image. As a matter of fact, we do a lot of licensing where we don't charge a royalty. There and the royalties that we do charge... Senator Gold's bill, if the price was right, from you selling the right to do You that. agree that it should be illegal for no. R.J. Reynolds to do that? No, no. Can R.J. Reynolds put my picture in... If uh, you're dead. If you're dead. If, I, if you're I'm alive. Dead. If you're alive, okay. <laughs> I don't wish any ill help. <laughs> uh, I, I think that that, you know, gives... that really doesn't seem right to me. And I and nobody is more beholden to the First Amendment than I am. Because I, on more than a few occasions, they've been after me because somebody didn't like what they heard do on you, this do program. Any, do you think anybody really feels that John Wayne who people know has passed away, is oh. endorsing those sure. cigarettes? I think That's it looks the reason like they're using their face. Let uh, me, let me, um, uh, Brian, let's go through these. Uh, gentlemen, stand by. You really do get to talk if you're a guest on this program. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Let's just give you some sense of what's happening out there. Uh, this is a greeting card with, uh, John Wayne has lipstick. Now, you know, it's up to you if you want to laugh. This is still America. But please don't forget the agony that uh, his son is claiming that the, you open it and it says, it's a bitch being butch. Next slide. Here's the, the Wayne uh, cigarette ad. Next slide. Uh, okay, there he is. And uh, I guess circa what, 1950? Next slide. You've got, uh, can we see the Gable pictures? Uh, is that, who has those? Uh, you have, do you have, John, do you have something you wanted to show us out there? 
Yes, sir. Please do. It's on the card. There it is. It's up there. Well, this has been a real disgracing image to my family name because people, like I was on a show about a week ago, and uh, the guy of the show actually thought this was funny, and that's why I'm here today. So people don't think this is funny. This is a very poor likeness or image of my father portrayed in the situation, and it, it's beer, embarrassed me beyond no end, and also my family. Yeah. Uh, do we have your agreement, uh, John Clark Gable, that uh, passing a law to prohibit this is at the very least very complicated. I no doubt there were people when go in 1939 when Gone the Wind with the Wind was released who didn't want your father to say damn in the film. Do you know what I mean? Are you concerned that your understandable misgiving about this exploitation of your father's memory and image uh, might lead to legislation which would uh, undermine the uh, freedom of the creative community in the country that claims to be the freest of all? Um, in other words, yes, if you... I really don't understand that question. If you ban this, what's next? Can I say that, that... I don't know. People just think that they'll be able to do anything they want with my father's image, and I want to put a stop to it now while it's still at the early stages and prevent stuff like this happening because people see this on a card. Well, they think they have carte blanche on my father's name. All right, let and me... I'm this, and let... I'm the only living blood of Clark Gable left, and I'm going to put a stop to this. Everett... Everett Fields. Everett Fields is the grandson of W.C. Fields. Your dad died in 46. Grandfather died in 46. Your grandfather, correct. sorry. That's correct. Uh, vice president, of, you're the vice president of W.C. Fields Productions Incorporated, and you, uh, so you have, you believe, a property right and responsibility to protect your grandfather's image. Absolutely. From a business standpoint, commercial standpoint, property rights standpoint, and also from a personal standpoint. Yeah. I think you might expect this question. One of your dad's great virtues was that he punctured pretense, pomposity, and even suggested that he hated little kids. And we loved him for it. So true. Wouldn't he laugh at the nude picture of himself? <laughs> Absolutely not. W.C. Fields was a class act. He was a class act on uh, vaudeville stage. He was a class act on Broadway here in New York. And he never had to resort to uh, obscene or bordering on obscene or pornographic uh, type of humor. This is pornographic type of humor. It doesn't convey any message. It doesn't convey anything of public interest. It doesn't say anything. All that that poster says is, buy me. It's a product. Bill Marks, son of Harpo Marks, you filed a suit due to a Broadway play's usage of, your, of the Marx Brothers character, and you're requesting, what you're requesting is the right of his property. That's right. Uh, we, we had a successful lower court hearing in the state of, Cal uh, the state of New York we won it. It was appealed. Uh, we sued a Broadway show. What was the show? It was called Day in Hollywood, Night in the Ukraine. It was a very prominent uh, rights and, case. And what is, it your, what is it that grieved you about the script? Well, basically, the idea of taking the brothers' characters that they had created mm -hmm. and, incidentally, putting them in a recreative situation. You wanted to stop the show so people could no, see it. No, that is That's quite wrong. That is quite wrong. Unless you got enough money. Yeah, uh, fine. No, we, we had no intention of stopping the show at the time. What we wanted to do was to seek their, their permission to do the show. And what well, happened is, and incidentally... For a price. What's wrong and, with and, that? And, and, What's wrong with that? I just want to get into that, too, what we're talking about. That's not what we're talking about. There was no price involved at all. There was permission, and it was never even asked for you in the first You just wanted place. to censor the show. No, we did not want to censor the show. Well, the why did you want show, to talk anymore? The whole second well, half of the show was the Marx Brothers, the people dressed up as the Marx Brothers, doing a recreative act of the Marx Brothers. So what? It has nothing to do with creativity. It has to do with recreativity. I bet these people had a great deal of creativity so, in creating that act right. and writing can I, uh, can I get a bus driver's uniform and uh, do a sitcom and, with a wife and say, to the moon, Alice? Absolutely. Can I do that? Absolutely. Uh, I bet you I can't call it we, the honeymoon. Now I bet you I can't call it the honeymooners. 
Yeah. Well, so probably copyright. All right. Probably if you copyright. can protect that, probably why copyright. can't if 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 the law protects a title, why can't it protect the persona of Ralph Cramden, which was given to us by the one and only great one? Well, it's a it's a very different body of law, and I copyright does impinge to some degree on on First Amendment freedoms, but copyright is a definable product. It's a it's a writing. It's a it's a it's a play. Yeah. It's it's a production. This this particular broadcast is probably copyrighted. No one could use this broadcast without paying for well, the then, copyright. Then, then he, he wants to know why he, you no, can use his... He wants his to stop everything in Futuro. He, he wants to say right. anything saying, that comes down the pipe. You're not right, Jerry. Anything he that wants comes, to say to you he wants that, to stop if you it. that if the man was alive, you would deal with him. You would talk to him. Sure. Therefore, the, fact that, he, deal with him. The, the fact that he's dead doesn't change the fact that it's a family business and he ought to be able to pass it I on and talk, and talk, excuse me, and Sorry. talk to his heirs. Now, we're looking, and that's all we've said we want to do. We, we, this isn't First Amendment. We're saying that if anybody can pass a ring, a family business, whatever you can do while a man's alive, talk to his heirs when he's dead. Right. So, therefore, you eliminate, Jerry, See, now, the First Amendment. I don't accept the fact that the heirs can stand in for the personality. I feel, frankly, that the relationship of a celebrity, if you will, yeah. is between the celebrity and the public. That's what creates a so, celebrity. And after the celebrity goes to the great... To the ages. They, they do. Belong to and they can be used for any purpose history, at all. History, bi uh -huh. biography, uh, can satire. You, can Hustler put a picture of a famous woman in its uh, magazine and then very creatively, so that it looks real, picture the torso nude as it has done? Can you do that? Well, I, it sounds al almost as outrageous as the, the, the fall uh, case. Yeah, the, you would the, guess that that's the, the, the... I would think so, yes. The fall uh, So that can be done whether you're dead or alive. Uh, whether you're alive. Uh, the dead case has not been decided. Then the law is saying, not on the book. What you're saying is that... See, the law has not been enacted yet. Right, okay. Thank goodness. That right. there's no... Bill, it's kind of simple, I think. What is? This is Michael. I'm, yeah. I'm here on the West Coast. I see you. <laughs> All right. I just think that it's a property right. And like Senator Gold said, uh, whoever the celebrity decides to leave his image to, to protect, maybe to exploit, they're the ones that should be allowed to exploit it. Who better than the celebrity himself to know who he should leave his own image to. Right. Do you know you, some of the tasteless things that have, have been promulgated by celebrities' heirs, say some of the Presley estates and so forth? They're That's selling totally, Presley sweat. Totally, totally tasteless. Uh, perspiration for your inspiration. Uh. <laughs> Elvis Presley sweat, you can buy it. Jerry, you say something's tasty. Some, some of these are well, approved why? by huh? the heirs. Why? If, if why? the heirs got the money for it, they'd approve yeah. it. No, Here is, uh, may she rest in peace. Here is, I think, Marilyn, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, uh. Uh, it's a denim jacket. 500 bucks. Uh, is this okay with you? Should you be allowed to sell this? Come on, jury. I we're nowhere without you here. What? Turn around. All right, hang on. They won't. They won't. It's a it's a Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. See, Bill, you never look better. Uh, is this legal? That's that's what you were talking about. No, I don't. Unless Marilyn Monroe or her heirs said it was okay. No, I mean you're taking her persona, putting on a denim jacket that's 1980s. That wasn't here in the 30s. Mm -hmm. Can I put Abraham Lincoln on the back? No, because, I mean, that's not Abraham Lincoln. He wasn't Can I put here. a picture of Abraham Lincoln on a, on a jacket and wear it? I don't... What's the difference? He's dead, too. Is it about how long you're dead? Do you want the law to consider that? Yes. I have a question to ask yes. Mr. Wilson. Yes. Um, although your family may not be celebrity, what would you do if you saw, well, let's say, God forbid, your wife was deceased or your children, and you saw them on a poster practically stark naked? Would you, I'd would be, you think... I'd be very offended. So, I'd, prob I'd probably try to, to attack publicly the person who has done this thing. Uh, so how can you sit there, how can you sit there and say that I you're a that? I would not try to go to a court, to get a court to try to enforce that. Yeah. Can but, I just ask one you question? You know, let me tell you something about this jacket. This jacket, if Manny Gold's bill was law, Mr. Donahue couldn't be wearing this jacket without perhaps paying the relatives of Marilyn Monroe. You, could, you couldn't wear that jacket. Well, what's That's wrong with it? You want, you want a society you, like well, that? You, you that raise the pushing? issue of taste, all right? No, there no, are don't people, change the No, subject. there are people who are in business. I'm going to deal with this. There are people who are in business. They have a right even to make business errors, and sometimes they go broke. A celebrity might do that. What we're saying is there's a chain here. It yeah. shouldn't be up to a stranger to decide bad taste 
for a celebrity. If the heirs do something right. wrong with the property right, they're like any other heir. Michael, I've got a break here, but let me just try uh, one on you here. I'm trying to figure out how, because you've dealt with this legally more longer than anybody else. Uh, I know that uh, you and your family uh, get upset, for example, when we use your father's name to, to suggest militarism and uh, bomb everybody and uh, th this kind of root and toot and shoot and approach, for example, to foreign policy. Here's my question. Do you think a political cartoonist should be, able, which, uh, should be free, legally able, to put your father's likeness in a cartoon which shows him as a Rambo figure, for example? Sh should that be legal? Absolutely. This bill has nothing to do with free speech. It has to do with commercial speech. And I think anybody should be allowed to say anything they want to say. And I think that this bill of Senator Golds is carefully tailored around the First Amendment despite what the eminent lawyer from Time Magazine said. Right. Do you think this, that the, should the legislation apply to the living as well as those who, have, who are deceased? Of course, because really it's, it's, it's a piece of property. And if the, uh, in our case, we purchased the property rights from my dad. We, we bought them. And, and we think it's kind of funny that somebody should be allowed to use them for nothing right. when we as own family had to pay for now, them. Now, should, should, should it be legal for someone to use, for example, my likeness on a uh, greeting card? And they have, incidentally, for which I received no phone call and no remuneration. I'm not suggesting you I'm a victim. I'm asking you if you think it ought to be legal for some other, for a company to do this without my permission. Absolutely not, because a postcard that's or a, a greeting today. card is a, is a product, yeah, that's a, as opposed to yeah. a, uh, an editorial cartoon. And that's First Amendment. A greeting card is commercial speech, and, and it's really to make a profit on your okay. likeness. All right. We're, we're, I think we're at least defining uh, our arenas of legal battle here. Are you there, caller? Go ahead. Yes. We don't have much time, but you had a comment. I see. Well, the point is, as already some of the people on that panel pointed out, this isn't a law uh, for sentimental attachment. It's a law to make money. Because if they really cared that desperately, if John Wayne's son or Clark Gable's son, who I believe anyway, he seems honest enough, believe that their father's image was damaged, and they don't have to pass a law in California, because laws are so damaging Excuse to the idiots. Yeah. Because the contract that Clark Gable had with MGM in 1935 already clear, made it clear that if Clark Gable's image was in any way, um, uh, you know, um, what is it, the word damaged, then the, the studio had the obligation to uh, sue on his behalf. That was a standard part of all contracts. That's the part of John Wayne's contract, vice versa, if John Wayne or Clark Gable... What's your point, that the... Well, that the point is there's no such law necessary, true. because... The they're already protected. Yeah. They're, of course they're, they're protected. They're always <laughs> protected. These people might not know it. All right, let me get uh, Michael to comment. Phil. Phil, it, that's absolutely not true. As a matter of fact, my father's agreement specifically prohibited uh, the studio's use uh, of his likeness in any way except in connection with the, publi uh, the publicity and the advertising of his films. So he now, as, as far as I'm concerned, uh, as far as the Wayne family is concerned, the net proceeds from Wayne Enterprises, which licenses his name, goes to find a cure for cancer. It goes to the John Wayne Cancer Clinic at UCLA and it's used entirely for charitable purposes to benefit all of mankind. We think that's a pretty fitting tribute for my dad who died of cancer, and none of the money rubs off on us personally. So this man on the phone is wrong when he's talking about me. And we'll be back in just a moment. I've planned thousands of dinners and affairs for everyone from next door neighbors to royalty. But now I'm planning my biggest ever. With cleanup prices on many items, including red dot specials, like jumbo roll brawny paper towels in assorted colors, save at 59 cents each. All American Coca-Cola soft drinks in two liter bottles are a big hit at 79 cents with coupon. Tropicana chilled orange juice in the 64 ounce carton is now only 169, and you'll find more savings in our color circular. Bring home the values with spring clean and red dot specials this week at Grand Union. Friends at Hayes. Ren on the back of there. Yeah.
I just think Mr. Time is all wet with the way he's thinking, and I think that the families should have the, the right and the heirs yeah. to, to their families uh, like that. Do you feel the family of Al Capone should have a right to use Senator Gold's bill? Hang on a minute. Well, I agree with Mr. Wilson. Hold that, on. We got some support for you, Mr. Wilson. Okay. Don't miss this. 100%, Mr. Wilson. I agree with Mr. Wilson in that these people, their whole lives spent their whole lives in the public eye, and when they're dead, they're going to continue that way. And if there's a buyer, there's a seller, and that's a fact of life. And that's the way it should be. What? What? The chief formal media, why should they use uh, their name in vain like that? Yeah. 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 You want what? I agree because why should you have to die and then, you know, the public goes crazy and you're seen dead, nude, right. you know, why should that have to happen? Why can't the family, well, you know, why does the family have to put bear up all the that, responsibility right. uh, There's two things here. There's the indignity that the family feels and there's something else. Somebody else is making money on the hard-won reputation of their deceased relative. That's two right. things we're worrying about here. Yes, ma'am. Who protects it when the, when the heirs sell the money well, for whoever... something as bad as what we saw of W.C. Fields? Yeah. I, I assume those who own the contract would. Yes. Frankly, I have a little bit of a problem. I thought you were going to say, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, I really would have a problem seeing my late father's picture on a dollar bill. And yet there are some pretty famous people on our dollar bill. Oh, but that, that is not, uh, that's not a bad point. Now, there's no loss of dignity in that. That's an honorarium. That's, that's an honorable. That's, that's an honorarium. We, we were visited with the uh, same situation. It was a great honor in 1980 for W.C. Fields to uh, be put, his visage to be put on a postage stamp. So when the, when the government, when society uh, honors a, an individual like that, of course there, there's no license situation. It's, it's a great honor. There is the stamp about which you speak. Uh, so that's different, you're saying? Yes. The problem for the law, as Mr. Wilson, I'm sure, would say, is that it's difficult to craft specific language that would allow for the stamp and not for the and it, we've well, got a, we've got a matter of aesthetic judgment here. How do you codify that? Well, let, let me let me uh, uh, let me elaborate on this trying. specific stamp situation. With respect to the stamp, we were honored by the United States Post Office, right. but the Post Office does something else that the public may not be aware of. They license first day covers so that the Post Office moves out of the governmental function and moves into business. When they moved into that business function, they were making money as a business like any other, right. any other business, right. and we you feel asked you're them for a license. We, we exacted a license from them. Does a celebrity have to state this in a will now to avoid this in the future? Not necessarily. No, no the way we're trying to draw Why don't you tell us how, what you, how, essentially what your bill would say and do? Great, what we're trying to do is say that what you would have to do with the per while the person's alive you would do it after they were dead. That way we think we avoid First Amendment. So if I'd have to deal with, with Phil Donahue while he's alive, then if there was a will, his heirs, or if there wasn't a will, we have probate laws in the state of New York, and that's the way it would follow through. Uh, under the, your bill, could someone market a picture of, uh, of me like this I, I'm, at, while I'm living? Living. Would, no. would this, His would you, no, under, under existing New York law, under the civil rights law, they could not do that while you were living. And what I want to do is have that applicable to the family after someone's dead. They would have to talk to Phil Donahue. If you thought that was funny, and if you wanted to license it while you're alive, you would have that right. Well, I, I'm, I'm well, still no, a little no, no, confused no, no. here okay. now. Wait a minute. His answer's not correct. Is this legal under your bill? Suppose I get mad. Somebody does this, and, you know, my wife won't sleep with me. I've got emotional damage. I've, all my kids are all embarrassed. And I... What? Under New York law today, that's illegal. To, set, to prepare that and sell it. Well, I got it. To gotta, sell it. I, listen, you should okay. get your advice from a lawyer, okay. not from me. Okay. But I've got to believe that's unconstitutional. Well, let me tell you what it's about. Section 50 of the Civil Rights Law says if you use somebody's face or image for commerce purposes. Advertising. Yeah. Advertising or in a product, you need their permission. So, so that would exempt political cartoons, for example. If this was on a ball of Wheaties. If this was on a ball of Wheaties. Well, right, just, no. just a poster. Political no, poster, cartoons posters. are not a problem. We don't care but, about but that. But as a poster, as a, as a uh, commercial product, it is against the yes, law. Yes, sir. Wow. Well, uh, so therefore, if you die, one of the civil rights if you die and you're unprotected so, currently, then as Senator Gold brought up at the hearing, there's an incentive purposes. to do away with you. All somebody, right. maybe I'm confusing you in this sense. If somebody does that just to show it to you as a bad joke, you can, you can do that. But if somebody wanted to prepare to make that money and with it. sell it, yeah. 
That's, that's where the problem that's is. That's against the law. Under existing law. Right now. Yes, sir. Anything, uh, California, I don't want you to feel out of this. And I disagree with that. Uh, Michael, you're listening in here. Is there well, anything you want to add? California actually does have a law that, that prevents specifically that, and we're hoping that Senator Gold's bill goes through in New York to provide th the same thing. And we'll be back in just a moment. Then control spreading with a green thumb broadcast or drop spreader. Your choice, just $19.99 at participating True Value Hardware stores and home centers. Time to make the donuts. Don't be a chump. Get a decent night's sleep at once. But all the nice folks will want... I present <laughs> our laundry room. <laughs> Where we'll get out your ring around the... I miss the point here. I think you want the laundry. Can you really see me doing laundry? Yeah. Whisk for ring around the collar and a cleaner wash. Don't miss the point here. I think you want to add to, uh, this is important well, because it is complicated. Now let's get this straight. If this was the center fold of Hustler magazine with your pay face in there, I would think under the recent Supreme Court decision, uh, that would be all right. That in other not, words, you can put it in, right. you can put it in now, a magazine. Now, say it was on a box of Wheaties. I don't know why you all want right. it on but a box of Wheaties. what's the difference? If, then, then, in other words, then that uh, would me, be against right. New York law. Hustler magazine can put any celebrity's picture on, an, on what, what some would think to be a derating picture. Yeah, degrading yeah. picture. Upsetting, terrible. But it's agree. legal. Now, wait a minute. Yes, it's sir, legal. Yes, sir, yes, sir, but yes, sir. you can't put it on a coffee cup and sell it in a, in a notion store. Right. Yeah. What the, if the, the person is alive. That's what's going to sell the magazine. If you put it in Hustler magazine as a parody, as satire, right. that's, then the Supreme Court has said that that's all right. We agree. But we agree. if you just use the picture, just a, a, the bald picture by itself, no parody, no statement, no anything. As a commercial product. As a commercial yes. product. That's illegal. That's illegal. Are you there? Call or hi. Hi. Uh, I was thinking that um, as a public figure or celebrity, it seems like... Uh, you're trading your privacy uh, by becoming a public figure and that you're no longer protected, that if you don't want these things to happen, you don't become a celebrity or you don't become a politician. Anybody want at that? Yes. Yeah. Right. How about, let's get Brother Marx in that's here. That's exactly what the Supreme uh, Court said. Hang on a minute now. Uh, this is Bill Marx, son of Harpo Marx. Your father was at the center of 20th century comedy. A giant, these brothers. I don't, as I don't have to tell you. Now... This caller is saying, hey, they shouldn't have got so famous if they didn't want this. <laughs> well, it brings up a very good point, but uh, to me it doesn't make very much sense because show business is basically an image-oriented industry. I mean, that's what people do. They get out there and they create an image for the public. And I think the public has been overlooked in this particular conversation. Uh, uh, my father one time was offered a great deal of money to say one word on network television. Heard about that. And he turned it down because he said, I would violate the public's trust in the image that I had created all these years. And so he, why should we then, de if he was that conscientious about his image when he was alive, why should the strangers be able to degrade it when he's dead? Absolutely. I think I get it. Yeah. Hang on a minute. Yep. <laughs> with the media because they've exploited the Kennedys, they've exploited Marilyn Monroe, and now they're exploiting the dead. Okay, and so I think what it has kind of country stop. do you want? It can stop. It I'll tell stop. you this. It can stop. It, uh, you know, it, it stopped in Nazi Germany. Boy, nobody wrote anything. <laughs> Listen to me. It stopped in the Soviet Union. You think we could make fun of Mikhail Gorbachev prior to Glasnost? Or that we can make fun of public figures as... Do you know what I mean? It, you, either, you either love free speech and understand its importance, or you start to chip away at it. And yeah, pretty soon, Phil. pretty soon, Venus de Milo's illegal. Phil. Huh? Well, nobody... Phil, nobody listen California to this standing speaking. ovation I got for this. Yeah. How about this a two and a half on the meter here? You want a czar to come in and say what you can and what you cannot... Uh, Absolutely. Phil. 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 And what you can't sell. What? And whose right it is. 
Uh, even even uh, the point I think the attorney from Rogers and Wells was making is that I mean, it's, it's a very blurry point here. You know, you have a poster in Hustler. Right. That doesn't automatically make a parody. I mean, he's out to sell magazines. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. It's commercialism but, right but, there. But so you, you, would, you would prohibit the... Uh, you the, can't the, ask the courts to say, well, we're going to prohibit Hustler from doing it, but it's okay for, for Life magazine to do it. You, you know, yeah. that's the oh, problem. Yeah. The courts can't be arbiters uh, of taste or censorship and so forth. Yeah. I don't know. think this is an issue of commercialism or business. The bottom line is that the, the loved ones of these relatives are hurt and angry over this. And they should be able to? To, to take legal action. Yeah. You're listening, so get, uh, Michael hurt. and John? I'm listening. I, I will tell I'm you, listening. This, this, this also uh, reverberates on us. It's embarrassing to, to see something. It, it's a reflection on me because uh, that's my grandfather on, on the poster. It could happen to anyone. It could happen to you. Aren't there enough? Uh, uh, aren't there enough? I'm, I'm here. Go I'm ahead, here, Michael. Phil. <laughs> <laughs> all all I want to say is, is that um, the eminent lawyer from Time Magazine keeps wanting to talk about free speech, yeah, and we right. want to talk about commercial speech. Right. And he tries to confuse the two. Uh, it is true. We hang on a moment. This you really, law hang on. does not <laughs> distinguish. There are many kinds Do you of non-commercial speech that yes. Mr. Senator Bowles. Uh, Do you think kind of someone should be able to put John Wayne's picture on a beer mug and sell it without compensation to the John Wayne's estate? Yes. Yes. Why? Wow. Yeah. Absolutely. Phil, now Phil, you know why we're not Phil, talking about free question, speech. Please? Because this what? bill is not free speech, it's commercial rights. What'd you say, Michael? I just wanted to know why Time Magazine is so interested in exploiting the rights of living no, and dead. I don't think no. a Time Magazine is trying to ensure that it is able to continue to publish what it believes is uh, a magazine that tells the whole truth and does it sometimes in an irreverent way, sometimes in a satirical way, and they're afraid if there's enough bleeding hearts out here worried about John Wayne's memory, that they're going to become an instrument of a state which tells them what they can and cannot publish. No small agony for all of us. We love Time except Magazine. That, except that we made it clear that there's nothing in this bill that is going to stop the news media the, there's nothing in this bill when we pass it that is going to stop people from writing biographies or any of that. I don't want to do that. The only thing I want to do in this bill is say, could you do it while the person was alive? Then deal with their estate after they're dead. That's all. Time Magazine can write whatever it wants today. I'm not getting involved in First Amendment. I love the First Amendment. <laughs> the guy dies, talk to his daughter or his wife, let them make the decision. And, and we'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> The violin is Stradivarian. The music is Mozart. And the gourmet cat food is Fancy Feast. In the single serving can, you can see how moist and delicious it is. How much your cat will love it. Fancy Feast. The good taste is easy to recognize. The fine families who own their own Carvel ice cream stores La, la, la. Oh! 449 Ponderosa's ribeye and shrimp dinner. We know the value of a good family meal. Hi, Hi friends. friends. Here is the. Uh, let me show you the heart of uh, Senator Gold's. Uh, uh, that's interesting to see these offspring of these famous uh, figures. Here is Senator Gold's, uh, New York State Senator Gold's law. Here's the, the gist of it. It would be a misdemeanor to use a living person's name, don't forget living person's name, portrait, or picture for advertising or trade purposes without such person's consent. Existing case law has held that the right to prohibit commercial exploitation of a person's name, portrait, or picture does not generally survive that person's death. So when you go, they can use your likeness to sell dirty movies. What else? Uh, huh? What the least they could do is be respectable about it. They don't have to, you well, know, you mean, you, shame them. Uh, so how do, but how do we, how do we make it illegal for them to shame them? Huh? But, 
What? Just get permission. I, I think there's an inconsistency in what the lawyer had said before. You uh, had said that uh, on the Wheaties box, if, they're, if the person is dead, that that's fair oh. game. But the fact of the matter is, is that the reason why you're putting John Wayne's picture on the box of Wheaties is it's going to sell more Wheaties. Right. Now, that family should be compensated for that. For the same reason that, for whatever reason, psychologically, there are people in this country that believe from that uh, card that John Wayne was gay. Because the connotation... Oh, there are people that believe that. I can't believe that. <laughs> well... He didn't have any sons. Suppose they didn't have sons, these yeah. people. What do you do then? Uh, but did you do or family? Or, or, How do you protect or, them? Do, would you, do you think it should be Suppose legal? I do a biography on, on television about John Wayne. And, and I want to put certain things into it. But John Wayne's son here says, Oh, no, don't put that in. That's nasty. Even though it's truthful, perhaps. Or maybe, uh, why, why should he, why should he That's censor the amendment. You're already protected see. there. No sons or no family. But what he do does. You do that? If it's not no. fictionalized and, and, it's, and it's true, then, then, uh, then So you just want to limit the docudrama, the fictionalization. That's a pretty big No, thing we, you we want don't want appropriation uh, of the commercial value. The, the impersonations that were done, a whole, uh, didn't Lauren Bacall, wasn't she successful in stopping those commercials that impersonated Humphrey, Humphrey Bogart? I feel, or well, gave oh, you the Woody Allen has, 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 Woody Allen has been successful. Oh, well, that's true. But uh, I'm Humphrey Bogart died, and wasn't there why, uh, something with airplanes or something, and she was successful in getting those commercials off the air? For whatever because it's it made worth, you assume Rich it was Little him? is lobbying against this bill in Albany because he knows that his act will be shut down. Yeah, absolutely so, wrong. That's yeah. absolutely he's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. I've said, said it publicly yeah. a hundred times. Lobbies, but the the law doesn't cover that. This bill is not aimed at Rich Little. Right. He's terrific. It's, it's not aimed at him. Michael, and you, you're setting yes, up your I'm trying here. I'm trying here. Just one more question. Well, all right, Pilgrim. Can I? Try to imitate your dad, and if I do it on a stage, <laughs> listen to me now. Listen to me. Can I? Can I go out on a? Should I be allowed to go out on a stage and play, say, a a gay uh, characterization of your dad? Should that Ab be legal? Absolutely, it is legal under the First Amendment, and we love Rich Little. And imitation is the highest form of flattery. I didn't make that up, incidentally. <laughs> um, we love it. Yeah. As long uh, as you keep it as parody. As long as it's a satire or parody. But, but I am charging, going, I'm charging tickets. I'm charging right. a price. That's all right. Minutes. Rich Little goes to Las Vegas. He does his act. He does it there. He does it everywhere. And as long as he does his act and he does satire or parody, that's terrific. But once he starts uh, acquiring, appropriating the character for commercial purposes, doing commercials, then he has stepped over the so, line. So he can make fun of a dead or living person Mimic the, now, does? let me get this, okay. but he cannot sell posters of that person outside the theater Absolutely. without correct. compensating the estate of the person whose picture... Without getting a license, which, which brings up another point. We're talking, there, there's been much made about compensation. My family, uh, Michael's family, Bill's family, we have turned down many potential licensees. Because you we, want to preserve and protect... We are preserving the image. Not only this particular image, but the copyrights, the trademarks, and the other proprietary rights we have. Right. And I can also uh, allude to another recent case just a couple of years ago in the, in the early 80s, the Martin Luther King case, where they stopped the making of busts of Martin Luther King because it was inimical to his image. It would destroy his image. You're selling plastic, uh, so, uh, cheap... A kind. clergyman selling uh, merchandising himself is, is, is uh, not consonant with the image of Martin Luther King, so they were able to stop it. We're in the same position. Right. We don't license I, everybody. I assume, I assume you think it should be illegal for someone to use your grandfather's persona, an imitation, with the bulbous nose, etc., and the hat, and the... For Cigar. an entire act, yes. Wait a minute. Hey, for you? Oh, for an entire, entire act. Hey, listen to it. Oh, you know, so I can't come out as W.C. Fields uh, uh, in, a, in a series of characters, sure. Well, well, well then, 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 uh, then if you're revoking, that, if you're you revoking, did, did, you're revoking did, did Mark Twain's estate get a fee from Hal Holbrook when he did a Mark Twain one? Uh, Henry Fonda did Clarence Darrow. The whole show Precisely. was Clarence Darrow. Precisely. Maybe at if least Clarence we, Darrow's let, heirs had done let something, let us we understand. Be here. Well, do, do we have Gold an agreement that it's difficult to draw points. these imaginary lines? Oh, certainly. Uh, okay, one more question. Uh, I assume you think it should be illegal for them to use your grandfather's likeness to sell, for example, uh, Meineke mufflers. Sure, sure. It should be illegal. Sure. He's selling illegal. another product. And we'll be back in just a moment. And Burlington...
This is complicated. Uh, you know, we're very close to making it illegal for Saturday Night Live to, 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 to parody me. No one wants. I certainly don't want to do well, that. Well, but he, you know, he, this, no. he, look, he look, 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 Senator, yeah. Senator, yeah, listen I'm to listening. this. I'm listening. You can't use it for advertising or trade purposes. Yes. A sketch on Saturday Night Live is a trade purpose. Can I answer? There's no show without these sketches. All you're proving, all you're proving is that it's difficult and complicated. But we do that every day in the legislature. Every law we pass isn't a one-liner. It takes more than that. And I'm telling you that the way we're writing the law, it's going to allow freedom of speech because I wouldn't be part of it if it didn't. Yes. I just have a comment. I agree with the protection of the star's image. I'm just wondering about the, compensa the compensation end of it. Uh, I think it's, it's great that, that Michael Wayne's family protects his father's image with um, donations to the Cancer Society. But I don't think that him. they should. I don't think that they should be compensated the family monetary wise. You don't think that the John Wayne should but, estate should get but, any money for somebody just, using his? Just charity wise. All right. I think anyone has a right and a duty to protect their family and their ancestry. Yes. Well, the, the law should include a statute of limitations, maybe 50 years or so after the person has died. Wait for 50 years, years. <laughs> and then uh, then the heirs will be so old they can't he see or they can't hear. What would happen to the plastics of Jesus Christ that are on the dashboards of cars? Well, it depends on who survives in his estate. <laughs> I think corporations that put John Wayne in lipstick and people like this lawyer should get off their anything for a buck attitude and think about the people they're hurting. Yes, but I don't want to preach to you because you look like a very talented, insightful person to me. <laughs> but I do think as Americans who have sent our sons to war to protect what we claim, and proudly so, to be the freest nation on earth, with, a, with an amendment that allows for the free expression of speech, even though it occasionally makes people mad. <laughs> uh, we have to at least treat this in a sacred way and ensure that honorable people, like Senator Gold and others, don't, in the midst of an emotional kind of outburst, pass laws which deprive us, which deprive media of the freedom we claim we need in order to be responsible citizens. <laughs> and that's the end of that speech. I bet you're glad. Yes? What's the difference between a celebrity and a politician? You know... In they terms of the law, there person. is none. The law, they're there public is figures. <laughs> they're public figures. Yes. Yes, let me get somebody who hasn't had a shot. I'm trying to get to the front row here. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I would like to see more of the old-time movies coming back instead of all these shoot em up and right. robberies. Right. Why don't they put that on? Yeah, we're going to pass a law, and I'll talk to you about it right <laughs> after the show. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question. Do you think it would be right for me to go into business tomorrow, in a pharmaceutical business, start a business, and put a picture of Rock Hudson on the cover of a condom and say, prevent AIDS. Now, there's your yeah, fine line. Question. There's your fine you line. I'm making a statement. We got to watch him squirm. But I will make 100% of the profit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel that's right. Yeah, you can do that. You want there's so many other evils that, in trying to prevent that, there's so many other evils that you create. That's all I can say. And it's we'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> Sweaters. Can't afford it, right? The year now. California, Kentucky, Nebraska. Act. That is uh, now at all Troy mattress locations. It's a sale too big to miss. With very little time remaining, please know that the following states have passed the so-called Celebrity Rights Act. That is uh, protecting as the estate or the heirs of famous people from exploitation of the persona of the deceased. Florida, California, Kentucky, Nebraska, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, and Virginia. How much, uh, what should be legal? Is this legal? No. Huh? What's wrong with it? 
Now, who is this? Is this Maryland? Is this Maryland? <laughs> it looks like uh, is this, should, this, should this be against the law? The body's close, but huh? I don't the face. Yeah. Well, here's the point. Should somebody be able to make money on this? What kind of country do you want? You better let these people know. Michael and uh, John, uh, tell us in a few seconds left, any final comment from California? My final comment is I just want to thank you and your wonderful audience for allowing us to have this time with you. One other point. Uh, I'd is, like to thank you, Phil, is there for a caller me on there? The show. Are you there, caller? Service is provided uh, and promotional fees paid by the uh, following. The 740 Turbo Wagon by Volvo. Until Ferrari builds a wagon, this. <laughs>